to push him off the bridge. No, you don't, he said firmly. But the wind had other ideas. It curled round his boiler, crept under his goose dome, and lifted it off and away into the valley below. Gordon was most uncomfortable. The branch line couldn't take his weight, and the rails buckled. Gordon cried as he slid off the tracks and into a field. felt very undignified. Gordon was cross and didn't care what he did. He waited till the table was halfway round. I'll show them, I'll show them, he hissed. He moved slowly forward to jam the table, but he couldn't stop himself and slithered into a ditch. Oh, he hissed. Get me out! Get me out! Come on, Gordon, said his driver. You'll feel better, too, after a good hose down. Ah, said Gordon, and angrily let off steam. Suddenly, he saw a freight car on the line ahead. Get out of my way! But the freight car wouldn't move until Gordon forced it. By accident. Further down his line, colorful banner was strung across the bridge. Then, as Gordon steamed across the bridge, it came loose and wrapped around his firebox. He couldn't see the line ahead. Trevor heard a whistle. He was going as fast as he could, but it wasn't fast enough. Come on, I can go faster than this, huffed Gordon. Sick me never. But Gordon began to feel more and more feeble. And soon, he came to a complete stop. What happened? Please. He tried to blow hard to clean it out, but instead blew mud all over Gordon. Shelly, huffed Gordon. His driver reduced steam and braked hard. But it was too late. 